striking new 2018 DS7 Crossback SUV revealed. New DS7 Crossback is brand's first SUV and offers luxury cabin and autonomous functions. French luxury firm DS has revealed its first unique model, the DS7 Crossback, at the Geneva Motor Show. In an effort to boost the DS brand's identity, it has pulled out all the stops for its first upmarket SUV, and it features a plug-in powertrain, unique suspension, and various autonomous driving functions. Since separating from parent brand Citroën in 2015, DS has been saddled with an aging lineup of models that used to wear the Citroën badge before being separated. However, with the DS7 Crossback, the maker finally has its own bespoke model to take on premium cars such as the Audi Q5 and Range Rover Evoque. Bosses at DS are aware that it can't simply copy its rivals, though. And project director Xavier Savignon told Auto Express, we're not at the same level as premium rivals in terms of profile, so we have to do something different. As a result, it has tasked its designers and engineers with creating a model that delivers a distinctively Gallic take on luxury and refinement. Compact SUV proportions and simple surfacing both feature, with the crossback offering a hint of Lexus in its design. Detailing such as the chrome grille gives the car a premium appeal, while the active LED headlamps emit a distinctive purple glow as you unlock the doors. The light show doesn't end there, because at the rear you'll find LEDs with a 3D pattern. Inside, DS is once again keen to emphasize the car's differences from more traditional models. We want to be perfect, yet we want to be different, said Savignon. Comfort is also important, and we want the interior to be as relaxing as your living room. The crossback gets the same watch strap finish and stitching for the leather seats as in the DS3 and DS5, along with five massage functions. Its dash includes a pair of 12-inch screens, with the layout crowned by a large analog clock that pirouettes as the engine is fired. Buyers can choose four cabin themes, and while a sportier performance line version is also available, the focus will still be on comfort and refinement. Underpinning the DS7 Crossback is a stretched version of the EMP2 platform that has already appeared on various Peugeots and Citroëns. The larger wheelbase results in good rear legroom, and while there's no official info on capacity, the boot is well-shaped and features a variable height floor. Also appearing in the DS7 will be the E-Tense plug-in hybrid system, which is slated to hit dealers in 2019. Combining a 197bhp 1.6-liter turbo with two electric motors, it'll produce 296bhp and travel up to 37 miles in pure electric mode. It should also emit less than 50g slash km of CO2. Until this version arrives, buyers have a choice of the familiar 128bhp 1.2-liter 3-cylinder petrol, as well as two more powerful 1.6thp cars. A pair of diesels will also be offered, with an 8-speed auto standard on all but the basic models. The DS7 doesn't feature DS's legendary hydropneumatic suspension, but the clever active scan system is equally innovative. Using a camera mounted in the windscreen, it reads the road and instructs the adaptive dampers to soften or stiffen depending on the conditions. Drivers can also select sport, normal or comfort modes. In addition, the crossback showcases the latest range of autonomous driving features. Its connected pilot system delivers adaptive cruise control and steering, while also helping navigate traffic jams without input from the driver. The DS7 will hit UK showrooms next year. DS7 Crossback, Ride Review We were given an exclusive passenger ride around DS's extensive Bellchamp test facility in France a few weeks before Geneva. Although we weren't able to take a turn behind the wheel, the short drive provided us with an opportunity to test the brand's claims for delivering class-leading comfort and refinement. Unfortunately, the active scan suspension wasn't functioning, as engineers are still calibrating the system, but our test car had adaptive dampers. With Deputy Project Development Manager Andre Lewis in the driving seat, we sampled the car over various surfaces from smooth tarmac to viciously bumpy cobbles. 
The first thing you notice is that the ride is impressively quiet, with even big impacts reduced to a muted thud. The dampers also take the edge off sharp impacts, while the car floats serenely over bigger bumps. The DS we rode in was fitted with a 178 bhp diesel, which was punchy and reasonably muted, while the 8-speed auto delivered smooth shifts. The car appeared to have plenty of grip through the corners, but body movements weren't fully controlled. Lewis admitted engineers were still fine-tuning the car, adding, We know there's work to do. We have time before the launch to get it right. However, the focus will always be comfort.